Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and in today's video, I am giving you plenty of healthy snack ideas that you can feed your kids. So if you have kids, you've probably noticed that they are crazy busy, like all the time, which means that they always eat a crazy amount of food. I don't know about your kids, but Allison <laughs> seems to snack like all the time while she's home. But I mean, can you blame them? Snacks are pretty much king. I find myself eating snacks every two or three hours as well. And you know, sometimes kids just don't eat a whole lot for their regular meals. Allison might eat a few bites for breakfast and a little bit for lunch, a little bit for dinner, but then she's also snacking a little bit throughout the day as well. And to me, there's really no wrong way of going about it. It just depends on your kid and just their personality. But in either case, I'm always trying to come up with new ideas to feed Allison because she does get bored really easily with all of her snacks. So I'm trying to make sure that she gets what she needs without her getting too bored. So in today's video, I have have a few snack ideas that you can try with your own kids. Some of them are homemade and some of them are also store-bought. Now obviously every kid is different. What one kid will eat on this list, another kid won't even touch. And to be honest with you, Allison is the same way. There's a few things on this list she would not touch with a 10 foot pole. And your definition of healthy might be different from mine. And that's totally okay because every family is different. My snacks, I try to make sure they have a good balance of protein, fat, and carbs just to keep Allison full and not reaching into the pantry every 10 minutes. And there is nothing wrong with feeding them chips at times for their snacks. I mean, I'm guilty of doing this a lot with Allison. But I also know that chips won't keep her full very long. So that's kind of why I came up with this list here and as much for me as it is for you all. So let me go ahead and first take you into the homemade snacks that I like to make for Allison. Then we'll get into some of the store-bought snacks. The first homemade snack recipe I'm going to show you is really good for hiding vegetables. These are double chocolate spinach banana muffins. And I make them on occasion for Allison. They are freezer friendly. It makes a ton and they are super delicious. And the spinach, you can't even see it. You just add all of like the wet ingredients to a blender, including the spinach, and you blend it all up. That's how you can hide the spinach inside these muffins. Now the blender, I mean, it's amazing for adding all sorts of different vegetables. Spinach is a good one for this. I added like two handfuls or so. Now you're gonna blend it until it is pretty much smooth. I try to get rid of all like the little chunks of spinach because sometimes it, when you blend it, it, adds, it still keeps like the, the little tiny pieces. So you wanna make sure you blend it until it is totally smooth. And then in a larger bowl, you just add all of the dry ingredients. I like this recipe because it's full of whole food ingredients. It has whole wheat flour, which adds extra fiber and protein, which will keep Allison full longer. And then after you mix it all up, you add the spinach mixture in. And listen, I know that it looks really, really weird. It's a very, very bright green. But listen, the cocoa powder actually hides it. Once you stir it all up, it just looks like chocolate muffin mix. See, you can't even see the green anymore. It's amazing. And then of course, chocolate chips make them double chocolate and they were honestly Allison's favorite part of the muffins. So you could either bake them in a regular size muffin tin or do what I did and put them in a miniature muffin tin. I just used a cookie scoop or like a one tablespoon and just fill up 24 of these miniature muffins. And then when they come out, they are super cute, super, super delicious. Now in Allison's lunch boxes, I can fit about two of them in there. Sometimes I can squeeze in three, but it makes for a nice little wholesome lunchbox item. And she enjoys seeing them in her lunchbox. I love these yum boxes, by the way. I will put an affiliate link in the description if you wanna try one for yourself. 
The second recipe is peanut butter energy bites, and I've probably made this for you all before, but it's a super good recipe. Now the peanut butter I use is the natural kind, which has peanuts and sometimes salt. I like to buy the Kroger brand, but this brand is what I had on hand, but it's only four ingredients. It's just rolled oats, peanut butter, honey, and chocolate chips. And you can also add other things to it, like you could add raisins or peanuts. I've even added a mashed banana in there before as well, and it's pretty good. And you can see I chopped up the chocolate chips. That actually makes it go further, so you're getting extra chocolate in each bite without actually adding more chocolate. But it's super easy. Once you mix it all together, you just use either a cookie scoop or like a tablespoon and um, put it into your hand, form it into a ball shape. I'm actually wearing a glove for this and I spray my hand with cooking spray that actually keeps the mix from sticking to my hand. And this makes uh, about 20 or so, between 19 and 22 or something. But these are also freezer friendly. So stick them all in the freezer, pull them out as needed. They're actually really good eating frozen. I've uh, done that on occasion. This I'll also keep in the fridge for over a week actually. And then when I put them in Allison's lunchbox, I put in about three at a time and she absolutely loves it. It's a good way to get in some healthy fat and protein. Let me show you some of the store-bought stuff I have as well. These are just things that I try to keep in my house at all times. So first of all, snack bars. Snack bars can be really good. Um, it just depends on the ingredients. You'll have to be really careful with some of the snack bars because they do have a lot of added sugars at times. I really like the lar bars because they have very few ingredients. So the cashew cookie, like it has just cashews and dates and that is it. And then like the key lime pie has a few other ingredients. The peanut butter chocolate chip, usually the ones with the chocolate in it are the ones that have added sugar inside of it. So you can see here that sugar is an ingredient but it is lower on the list, so that means that there is not a lot of added sugar in it. And actually, if you look right here, it says there's two grams of added sugars. So that is not too bad. Now, the, the miniature ones are 110 calories with the bigger lower bars being like 200. So the bigger ones, I would probably give Allison like as a breakfast or lunch item. And then the smaller ones are really good for snacks. Now, other protein bars or snack bars, she really likes the Annie bars, um, especially the cookie dough protein bars. These ones do have some added sugar in them. It has nine grams of added sugars, which is kind of a lot. I like for the bars there and stuff that I give her to be like at least five grams or less, but these are also good in a pinch. This one also has six grams of protein and three grams of fiber, but sometimes I'll give that to her for breakfast. But yeah, these snack bars are ones that I feel pretty good about giving her. Applesauce cups are also a really good snack option because first of all, they're portable, they're individually packaged, so they're easy to take out of the fridge. Um, the no sugar added is what I like to get because I believe applesauce is sweet enough as it is. And then you can always put cinnamon and stuff in there as well. But since there's no protein or fat in there, you can also give them a side of like peanuts or something to go with it or like cheese. Also, another um, good snack option would be Sun Chips. These are made with 100% whole grains. Now these are more like chips, not totally like crackers, but you could use give them this with maybe some string cheese or something. There are two grams of added sugars in there, which is not too bad, but you could pair this up with some cheese or something, or even dipping into guacamole. I like to actually eat that as a snack sometimes myself, so those are pretty good. 
Hard boiled eggs are another good option as well. Each egg has about six grams of fat and six grams of protein. So if your kids like uh, hard boiled eggs, that would be a good option too. Cheese is another good snack option. Allison, for some reason, is addicted to these Baby Bell cheeses, and these are about 70 calories and about six grams of protein. So you could pair this with the Sun Chips or crackers of some sort. And you can also take a block of cheese and slice it up yourself or cube it yourself as well. That would go also really well with sun chips or crackers. I also like to buy her the Annie's uh, bunnies and the goldfish on occasion. But these are some of the pre-packaged and store-bought items that I like to keep in my house. So other ideas include yogurt with berries, string cheese with crackers, beef jerky, homemade banana bread with either cream cheese or peanut butter on top, a sliced apple, or even a banana with peanut butter. And because you don't want to forget the vegetables, you can also have like raw carrots with broccoli and cauliflower. And for a dip, you could have hummus or guacamole. Allison won't touch those, but that's another story. You could also even have crackers with the hummus or guacamole too. You could also make a miniature charcuterie board, which could include like deli meat, cheese, some crackers, some veggies, all on a plate. If you make it look pretty, maybe they're more likely to eat it. Now listen, this is not an all-inclusive list. There are probably so many more ideas out there, and you probably have a lot of good ideas as well. But this is just a really small list to get you started, and to kind of jumpstart my creativity too, so I can finally branch out and help Allison to branch out in order for her to try some new things. I also have a PDF download of all these snack ideas is down in the description. So click down there and check it out. You can download it to your computer, you can print it. Also on there are links to the recipes that I just talked about as well as a few others. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what are your kids' favorite snacks. Are they really selective like Allison or do they like to branch out? If you would like to see some more healthy snack ideas, hey, leave me a comment and let me know. I'm always looking for more ideas to serve you all. And if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, please do so. When you do and when you click that bell notification down there, you will be notified when more videos like this come out as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.